So, okay. So, we're gonna learn how to make a latte today. First, the latte dispenser, the milk dispenser goes here on the left-hand side of the machine. You gotta pull out the hot water dispenser, just pulls right off very easily. Then you have this basin, fill it with milk. It's set up that it takes about eight ounces of milk, so it should take most of it. I know because I tinkered with it one night until I got it just about right. Just pour it all in. That's my face. Uh, <laughs> next, we're going to do central lines. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, all right. Got that. Then we take the back end of this, slide it right onto here. Just slides right in nice and easy. The only other thing to know, once the milk is in, there's three settings. It's nice. There's little pictures. How much foam do you want in your milk? The third most foam is super foamy, like it's almost not even milk. It's almost like cotton candy texture. So, so just so you know, okay? Um, so you probably you're only gonna use the low foam or medium foam. Um, and we need a cup. Oh, Angie has a cup ready. Oh, well. Oh wait, I'm ready. We'll do it. We'll we'll do it in this, and then we'll pour it in there. Okay, yeah. So. It's nice. You just press latte, and it kind of <laughs> it kind of just happens. So <laughs> this is up close and personal. Do you have it on most? You have it on least foam. Okay. Yeah. So I have it set to least foam. It will do the milk first. Yeah, we should really chop it up and make like a little comic book picture diagram. <laughs> Just really, as simple step, as possible. Step one. Five steps or less. You know? <laughs> yeah, that'll be, that'll be my QI project. You know? <laughs> How to get everybody coffee. Every coffee. <laughs> I think it's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> do some reliability validity studies on it. And see. Yeah. I would support that. You can do yeah. How do you feel confidence of making coffee before in session? Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, I should have given a handout right now. You know? There's your study right there. Yeah. We saw an 80% increase in the ability of people to make their own coffee. And then, measure the impact. Measure the impact. And, then, and then see how much money they save. So you'll see, I, I, I set the time to just perfect for about eight ounces. So it got right to the bottom of that, which is great. And then the coffee comes out next. Yeah, so this is half the battle, right? You're gonna get a good coffee super easy just by pushing the latte button. Then the big thing is you gotta clean it, okay? We'll get to that, but clean this because if you leave the milk in the tube and everything, then it's gross and we all get sick and, yeah. and it breaks and we don't get free coffee, if you know, so. Okay, so here is this. You can pour this in your ice cup, or I can do it for you if you'd like. Our new barista. I want something pretty in the foam. Where's my foam? I didn't do much foam in this one. So I just did low foam. Okay, so what it's going to ask you, it's going to say set dial to clean at the end. Clean is just right here, very easy. It's on top of the milk dispenser. Do that. It'll clean out this. That's only part of the cleaning. We still got to clean out the basin and the tube. So. And you don't have to have a cup here to catch the water. There's a water basin here, but it's easier than pulling this whole contraption out and emptying it all the time. It did that. Now let's take this off, clean. I usually just rinse. If it looks dirty, I'll scrub it. But I feel like it gets used so much every day. Rinse out. This just pops right off here. Rinse it out. Rinse out any milk inside. Pops back in. Put it in. And then probably best to keep it in the fridge just in case there is milk so that nothing gets grimy and gross. <laughs>